YouTube was happening. It is Saturday night, October 26th, and I am filming NHL early just because yes, uh, yesterday, tomorrow morning, I'm not going to, I have things to do, so I'm not going to be able to film the videos in the morning. So I'm doing it tonight. We're going to try it and see how this works. So, um, we only have four games tomorrow to talk about, so it's not that big a deal, but I want to make sure you have all the information you need, all the stats and everything. And if I can play any props, I'll do it all too. So, uh, we have four games. Let's go ahead and just jump into that first one. So we have Edmonton Detroit on the screen first. So let's pop over to the thing and see what the odds are. Looks like we got some, uh, Edmonton 164 with a six and a half total. So we pop back over to here and I kind of want to see their schedule. I just want to make sure uh, they're not playing today because so, <laughs> back-to-backs can be a thing. Uh, so I don't know. I'm not sure exactly how much they affect hockey. I know how much they affect basketball to an extent, but we want to take a look and see just to make sure that they are, uh, you know, not playing today. If they are, when did they play? So you did not play today. So Edmonton was off. Detroit was, and we're not going to do this every day. There's only four games. That's why I'm kind of digging a little deeper. You did, you played Buffalo today and you lost five to three. So, and your goalie was lying. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So Edmonton is rested. Detroit is not. That's, that's advantage Edmonton right there. So let's look at the stats. Oh, uh, <laughs> not good. <laughs> so Edmonton's heav heavily favored 164. You see offense is terrible for Edmonton and not as good for Detroit. Goaltending is about the same. Penalty minutes are about the same. Let's look at the goalie situation. Uh, this is lineup experts, cool website, lets you know they predict and go based on what they know. So we got a couple expected. Here we go. Expected as Skinner, expected as Talbot. Uh, 305 with an 89% and 321 to 91%. Sue, he has lower goals against, but you got a better save percentage. So really, they're about the same, right? That's what you would say. I know, right? Me too. So they're the same. Coming back here. Uh, Detroit did play, which is a big damn deal. So that's, we're, we're going to go with the whole, you know, you just played, you just lost. Edmonton's rested. Edmonton's not a good team. Let's be honest here. So I don't expect much, but do I take the over under is what over under is six and a half. I'm going to, I mean, I, I don't, I might regret this, but I'm going to take Edmonton. We're going to take Edmonton on the money line, but and we do have some props we can look at in this game. So not every game has props, as you can see, two have them. So, hey, we'll take what we can get because it's 1030 p.m. Eastern and I'm filming this. So, oh, and the matchups are not good. Oh, my goodness. Why is it? Why? <laughs> All it is is goal. Oh, no. It's just goals. Oh, I don't have my other props. Oh, no, this is going to be a rough video. Oh, no. <laughs> but guess what? We're going to ride through it. We got this. I mean, if you want goals, there you go. You have options. Hey, uh, what's that green? Hyman has head-to-head -head goals, but that doesn't help me much. So, okay. It looks like it's just going to be just Edmonton on the money line on this one. All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, next up, we're going to go Anaheim and New Jersey. So, uh, it looks like New Jersey's minus 300. Wow, with a six and a half total. Again, let's pop over here and make sure that neither team are playing, or if they are, what's going on? So Anaheim, New Jersey. Let's see, Anaheim, did you play today? Hmm. All right, so for game two, we're going to Anaheim and New Jersey. We see that it is New Jersey minus 300 with a six and a half total. Ooh. Uh, looking at the numbers, you can see why. The, it's just not good. And I was not good. New Jersey's way better. Goal situation, we'll look at that in a second. And we'll look at if they played today because apparently day of rest just matters a lot. So, which makes sense. It's common sense stuff. So, let's pop over here. Goalies. Ryan, James and Jacob are expected. This could always change, but three with a 90.6 and an 89.1 315. I would say Anaheim's a slightly better, if not exactly the same, but. We need to look at their schedules. Anaheim, they did play today, Saturday. They lost two to one, and Dostal was the goalie. Okay. And then Jersey did not play. They were off. So they've had them a nice rest. Uh, so that's good. That's probably why they're 300. So uh, I do not have props for this one. This is one of the games I don't have props for, sadly. I know. So based on all that, based on this, 327 is crazy. I'm not doing that. I'm going to go one and a half. I'm going to go Jersey minus one and a half. We're going to bank on the whole minus uh, having extra day rest. Back to backs are bad. That's what we're going to say. So New Jersey money line, uh, not money line, New Jersey one and a half. Let's go to that next game.
All right, next up, we're going to game three, Montreal and Philly. It looks like it's Philly 150, over under is six on the screen. And then let's pop to the numbers. Let's see, both offenses are not the best. Uh, you can see the records and everything. Uh, all this should update here soon. Looking at all this, it's not going to change too much, though. Uh, they're both terrible when it comes to penalty minutes. The goalie situation is bad. This is a bad game all around, to be honest. <laughs> let's, let's look at the uh, schedule. Let's see if they play Montreal. Did you play today? Saturday, you did. You played St. Louis, and you won 5-2 to two with Montembeau, or however the hell you say that, being your goalie. And then Philly, I know you played today. Um you played, you scored a lot. It was a lot of goals this game, right? Yeah. You beat Minnesota seven to five after losing so many games in a row, but you won. And Erson was your goalie. So let's see who's starting today. Uh, we have Caden is confirmed for tomorrow already. 011 421 88%. Uh, Philly projected. It's not even expected. They're just, they're guessing at this point. It's, if you curl up, it says projected. We have no reliable information and made our best guess. <laughs> Hey, I'll take it. We have good reason to believe this goalie will start, and we have confirmed with one or more reputable sources. So you want this, but and this is okay, but projected, they're guessing. Which can't, I mean, it could be bad, it could be good. So 322, 888. Um, slightly better, but this is confirmed. We know this. So uh, based on everything, I think I'm just gonna have to pass on this game. This game is just kind of bad. So I'm passing. Um, no, wait, no, I'm not. No, we're, we're using it today as a fade the team that played Saturday. So we're going to take, uh, is Montreal? Because Montreal was off, right? No, they both played today. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we're going to pass. Yeah, we're going to pass completely go to that last game. All right, last one, we got Ottawa and Colorado. Had to open it up so you can see it. Colorado 164 with a six and a half total. Let's look over at the numbers. Uh, both fairly good offenses. Both good shots, good percents, good power play, good shorthand. Goalie bad. <laughs> Goalie bad for both. Uh, that This alone makes me want to take the over six and a half. So uh, let's look at the information, see what we got. First of all, we'll start with the goalies. I had to go. It's the first one up here. There it is. Ottawa is expected for Linus, which is 345 and 881. And Colorado is expected Justice 31, 208, 917. That's nasty. That's 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 some good numbers right there. Uh if this is the two, maybe not, but I might still take the over anyways. Uh Colorado is 171, though. Hmm. Now let's do our thing and see if they play the one play today. Well, Ottawa and Colorado. So open up both their schedules. See who they played and when they played. Ottawa, did you play on Saturday? Uh, no, you played Friday and lost to Vegas, so you have a day off. That's good for you. Ottawa, let me look at your schedule. I mean, Ottawa, Colorado, let me look at your schedule. You haven't, you didn't play Friday or Saturday. You have two days off. Everyone's, ex look at that. You start off terrible, then you got better. Look at that. That's cool. Um, Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not taking the over. I'm just going to take Colorado two days rest. Wow. That's crazy. So yeah, we're, we're going to take that Colorado money line. It's, it's a little juicy. 164. I can rock with it though. I, I, I can rock with it. I don't have props again. So I, all I have are these plays. So I can only do so much today with it being Saturday nights. And this is throwing me off a game. This is not going to be usual. I like to do the morning of, so I can see all the stats and everything update. And mm, so, uh, let's go back to the schedule because I've taken Colorado to my line. It just, with all this, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. With the goalie situation, two days rest. We're going to see how that works. So over here, let's go back to the overall NHA schedule. Um, there's only four games today. Monday, there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll have a much normal video come Monday because I'll film it on Monday. It'll make more sense. So we'll do that then. I appreciate you watching. Drop a like, subscribe. Um, let me know what you're going to play in the comments, and we will see you Monday for more NHL. Peace.